today. Um, back again with casual gardening. A um, couple of things have changed since the last video I made. Things are bigger. There's a baby shower going on, so if you hear any screaming or yelling behind the woods, it's not people dying. It's a, a baby shower. It's a good thing. Anyways, um, if you look right over here, we went ahead and filled all of this in, and there's three types of tomatoes. The first one in that row is, I believe, a cherry tomato. The ones right here all along the middle row, those are Brady's. And the last row over here of tomatoes is big boy hybrids. So hopefully we'll have some really delicious, juicy um, tomatoes in a couple of months or whatever. And if you look at the lettuce, you notice some of them are missing. We've actually been eating it and it's super, super green and delicious. And it's awesome. Yeah, um, and I was gonna probably plant lettuce again, but According to things and stuff, your own lettuce has to be in the ground by March 1st. And I'm recording this on March 3rd, so it's already too late. So, I figure I'll look at the spinach because I'm pretty sure you can plant spinach more in the summer. So, and I like spinach versus lettuce anyway. So, and over here we have our green beans. They got maybe a smidge or two taller. They're starting to get their little top leaves that are going to make them vine all the way up the trellis which is going to be really awesome. There's also some new little ones right here in the back. Right there, they're little tiny little things. I just planted them. Oh, and if you come over here. <clears throat> we also have our little, I'm not really sure what that is. It's a plant though that our neighbor gave us. It's pretty nice looking. It's doing well. All right. Over here is our wildflower, um, Seeds that I just threw and they survived every frost, every worst case scenario condition out here. <clears throat> One of them actually has these really pretty purple flowers, which I love, but none of them are throwing any flowers yet. But they'll get there eventually. And here we have our broccoli. Um, still no actual signs of broccoli, but we'll let them grow till they get there. Um, these are our carrots. They've gotten so much bigger than the last time. You can actually see them now without any trouble whatsoever. So also, according to my calculations, carrots or these carrots should be done by this coming Saturday. And today is Sunday. So I had an experience with carrot after it was there for a couple of, it felt like a month or two. They got like huge massive little green tops and everything but when we I pulled one out because I was curious to I wanted to know if it was carrot underneath it was just a root so if these things are gonna be done by next week I'm gonna pull one out and see how it looks and from there I'll decide whether I want to pull them out this Saturday or if I want to just wait another two three weeks and so here we go all right there's actually two here which might mess up because, okay, look, let, let's find one that is just one. Okay, this little guy. This little guy only has one carrot in his little slot. So we're gonna go ahead and move all of this hamster bedding because, you know, it was there to stop the sun from beating down on it so much. Okay, uh-oh, I don't feel too much coming out. Oh God, oh my God. Ah, that was a carrot. He's not very big though. There's nothing under here whatsoever. I uprooted him. That sucks. But anyways, um, from the look of it, these are not going to be ready by next Saturday. They need another, Jesus, another month. All right, let's go ahead and put this one back in here. I uprooted him. He's probably gonna die. Um, but it was for the greater good, I believe, because then I would have pulled all of them out or whatever this Saturday. None of them would have been ready. So, and over here, we made ladybug houses. Um, I don't, in my last video I mentioned we were gonna get ladybugs, we did. And they were crawling everywhere for about two, three or four days. Eventually, one by one, they started flying away and things like that. Um, we're, we saw them mating, so hopefully they laid eggs before they decided to venture off. But yeah, and if you look down here, there's this big old mess. And this is where our compost used to be. But I moved everything and we threw 
um, some four o'clockers. There's some of the balsam. And we have the Cosmo flower. It's getting pretty big. And for the most part, most of these things are just weeds besides the ones closer that way. And here's our elephant ear. It's got so much bigger than the last time. It's actually gonna sprout a little leaf. See, look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. We're hoping that it gets bigger, throws more little things out of the ground. But yeah. Um, oh, and nothing. Well, the last time there was nothing here compared to last time. Whoop, there is stuff here. The basil is doing awesome even after it's transplant. So if anybody's ever telling you that basil, because I read in a book that basil, parsley, cilantro, and rosemary, you should never transplant them. And those are like maybe minus the rosemary or something. But because um, he says they don't do good with transplants, I was reading a book. And this is a lie. Mine are thriving, they're doing great. So if you want to transplant them, go right ahead. We have some salvia from our neighbor. She said it's going to throw these pretty blue flowers. Um, over there, there's some plant. I'm not sure what it is, but it has these really nice yellow flowers on it. And we have another little plant that looks like the orange one in our first video. Alright, over here, we have all of our corn. Just doing, watch it with the tomato. There's a tomato here too. I didn't have enough room in the bed, so along here, up to that ruler over there, there's actually tomatoes growing. They're all Brady tomatoes. But yeah, so, and then on the other side of this yellow thing is corn all the way up to past that tree. And then it's more corn on the front part. But it's doing so great and I'm just so happy. I've only lost one corn so far. So, you know, out of like so many, I don't even know how many corns this is. Only losing one is pretty great. And our latest additions, this guy, he is a really huge apple tree, which needs to be moved because he's kind of hitting the roof there. There we go. Massive little thing. He has little greens on him. And then we have this um, avocado tree. It's not really much, but it looks like it's a sad little little thing. There we go. Focusing, and it looks very sad gonna see what happens if it dies it dies if it doesn't it doesn't because I've never been able to grow an avocado tree so it wouldn't be much of a loss and from seeds we also started again um, there's a couple of things I started growing more zinnias all my zinnias died they just one by one just died so whatever and then I just planted some more so over here there's some thyme and some basil and there's watermelon and cantaloupe hopefully it can get those to grow there's some more Cosmos, some Impatience, and then I have more African Daisies because a lot of them ended up dying. And we also have, I, it's a thing said it's a bachelor button. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of flower that is or if it was a different name, but yeah. So that's uh, the newest update to the garden. So I will catch you later. Um, First little gnome that's been watching this place. I figure I need some recognition. She's not doing all the work. I am doing some too. Anyways, if you want to see the previous video of all my work I've done, you should click on the link right there. I can't point because I'm a statue. She probably will question this video when she finds it. All right. Maybe there'll be another secret message in the next video. Y'all take care now. Go Spurs, go.